The North Penn Television Studio, a classroom unlike any other. The man that works in this classroom, Robert Gilmer. Robert Gilmer is much more than a television producer. He has also become a beloved teacher here at North Penn High School over the years as he passes his knowledge of TV production to students through his creation, North Penn Television. Initially in college, Gilmer's focus was a career in music and nowhere close to the television or teaching world he finds himself in today. Stumbled into it because I was working at the radio station just a couple days and then immediately like all television productions there's never enough crew so TV studios right next door to the radio station and someone said hey I was just on my shift like, can you help help me out and run camera I'm like I've never run camera before like that just come on over so once I got into that TV studio and got into that first production I was hooked and from there it was all TV the television path would become embedded in his life as he would eventually accomplish a degree in the field after finishing up an internship, the college graduate would face a decision to choose either North Penn School District or CNN as his first workplace. I had started uh, in early 93 or early in that school year in 93 and um, was real excited to take on the project of creating North Penn Television. We had a television class, we had a t uh, television channel, cable television channel, but no real content on the channel. So I was hired to come in and basically create an organization a uh, television station that would cover things in North Penn School District, which was a lot of fun. You don't get to have your own television station straight out of college, basically. With Gilmer at the helm, a foundation for MPTV would be set in stone beginning in 1993, including expanding production to more than solely school board meetings. However, in 1996, Gilmer would see an opportunity to rise in the television world, with CNN reaching out to him once again. He would take a directing position at the Atlanta-based company, but something seemed to be missing while he was working there. Immensely enjoyed CNN, but CNN really was more of a job. And uh, what I was doing here at North Penn was my passion. And I didn't really realize it until I had left it that how much I enjoyed working with students to try to, try to get students to some professional level or exceeding some professional levels around us uh, on creating programs that uh, are as good as anything else you see on television, but we're, we're doing it with 15 year olds, 16 year olds, 17 year olds, and having those kids not even realize what they've learned until they've left as well. Teaching has become a true passion for Gilmer, which was something he never saw coming. He not only teaches his students the skills of television production, but also life values that can be applied to any workplace. We always say it's all about professionalism. I really want all of the students to understand what it takes to get something done. Um, and, and, it, and it's a personal drive. You don't need somebody else telling you to, to have quality. You shouldn't have somebody else telling you that it needs to be done on time. Um, you'll get direction from people you work with and everybody else, but at the end of the day, internally, I hope students realize and have the ability to say, I can get this done and this is how I do it, because I am choosing to get it done. I am choosing to make it good. I really want kids to say, this isn't good enough, I'm going to do better. Many MPTV members see the club as more than just learning, because they get to work in their hobby with a supportive mentor each day. The students have deep appreciation for all the effort that Gilmer puts in every day with them. Um, because Gilmer never like, he doesn't flip out on you if you mess up. He's more so like, all right, this is what you did wrong, but here, let me help you out. And um, he's just a very fun person and he doesn't make it feel like work. It's more like, you know, this is what you want to go into, so I'm going to show you what you need to do. Like he was really supportive and helping with the new members of NPTV in the beginning of the year and he would always go out of his way to help you and get you more acquainted so you could do the best job that you can and stuff like that makes you, it proves that you're dedicated to what you do and that's what it takes to be a good teacher. He's a very hands-on person. He really gets what it's like to be the teacher, he doesn't just stand around and sort of lecture you on what to do. He helps you, he shows you, and me being pretty new to this in the beginning of the year, he really took it upon himself to make sure I felt comfortable and knew what I was actually doing. The students have also developed a passion and love for film and the communications field because of the experiences that Gilmer has created for them through MPTV. I think I've always had an interest in doing this, but it really put it into perspective to have someone help me and show me how to do this and make it easier. 
when we work on things, he makes them look like really professional with our help, and it just helps when, like, if you want to pursue a career in uh, this industry like this, seeing what kind of uh, product you can produce, it really helps because you want to work up to that. Um, he's definitely made me a lot calmer. Like, you know, when I first started out here, I was very nervous, you know, doing MPTV, but like, now you do it and it's kind of like, whatever happens, happens, just roll with it. So, kind of just prepared me for when I actually do go out into film. One of Gilmer's keys to the unusual classrooms he teaches in is to create an environment that provides live broadcast situations for learning along with out of workplace pressure on students. This is not a class at all. Uh, it is a lot of work. Um, there's some homework depending on what you're preparing for the show. Um, we create, I, I try to create an environment where um, it's okay to make a mistake, we have fun with it, but let's move on and let's get better at it. Gilmer uses his unusual classroom to his advantage by providing endless possibilities to spread information to the community while also giving a student the skills for a future career. His excellent work as a mentor for students has not only aided the communications world, but also the community, as more inspired and responsible people exit the MPTV studio each year. Um, so there's two things. You find out you don't love it, and you don't waste your time at college going, you know, like, I, I did the TV thing, it's not my thing. But because I was doing this, I found something else. And you're, all, you're a step ahead. So even the folks that don't go to college for this, They've, they've kind of X'd off a, an area and, and they maybe found something else. Mm -hmm. uh, the people that want to do this uh, find it and they go, now I know for sure I want to do this for my career. And people that just kind of roll in because they're a friend of somebody else going, oh, hope you because I know you need crew tonight. And then they find that and they go, this is cool. And they've found their thing. So as long as all of our students find their thing, whatever it is they love to do, um, man, what a, what a great thing that we can provide as, as uh, helping our students.